Hey everyone, so don't mind my worst than normal voice today uh, as I'm recovering from a cold but I had to do this small video I will keep quick and simple this time around for my voice sake and for you guys sake too So, only to got its last update today and I mean last Already confirmed that the game is ending support from now on so no volume 3, no more balance and patch fixes what we get here is what we will have until the end of time. So let's go for it. Starting with the uninterested stuff, fix the collision on the Italian village map that caused problems with lower vehicles. I have no idea what this is about, but yeah, it's fixed. Fix the unlocking of the Hot Wheels Iconic 39 profile when completing the Red Power Unleashed mission. Yeah, it's forever for me. But good for your cooperation, ish guys. Yay! Fix the UI of some monster trucks not showing their immunity to some effects. Honestly, I never noticed that. So, thanks, my story. <laughs> Fix a bug when the personal best time was not saved on custom tracks. That's good. I actually got several times of mine not getting saved when training for events. So, hopefully, this time around is truly fixed. Fix the handling of some monster trucks when equipped with specific perks. So, this change is only affecting the monster trucks from the latest DLC, the real bad one. The base ones were fine already, so yeah, they are not losing any traction anymore. Well, which you'll get on the magnetic tracks. But at least now they don't flip anymore. So you can do that as your heart desires. They also weirdly shake when staying still, which it really isn't a good sign. Cars that had traction issues had the same reactions, so I'm not sure if it is 100% fixed. You can see that both of those issues are not a thing on the base monster truck. So just stick with the base monster truck or even better, forget most trucks even exist because Milestone sure did. Fix the position of the VFX of the boost for some vehicles. That's a good one. This was mostly focused on the latest DLC with now the two Mercedes actually expel flame from the right place. How the heck did Milestone manage to screw that up? Also Battle Sprite lost its flame tail lights and I got some side flame action and even some volume 1 DLC cars like the chicane got the VFX fix. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to miss the fire mohawk. Not everything is perfect though, as some guys were still left untouched. Where the heck the flames are coming from? Fix some vehicles top speed when they are upgraded to the ultimate category. Thank god, finally some of the latest DLC cars are playable. Hatchweiler now can sort of keep up, it's still quite bad, it is off-road after all. Same thing for pile drive. this one feels a little better, but I don't know, I mean it's playable. But at least now you can try to compete when picking those two. Shark bite it still feels a little off, maybe it is a little faster, I'm not sure. It's still very wobbly and it only has two charges, so stay away from it. Lastly, the Fiat 500 Super Treasure Hunt is back in shape. It used to have the highest top speed in the game, but after a weird bug fix that Milestone did a few patches ago, it lost everything. Have to say that this one is really good again, but it does not seem to have that broken top speed, so I guess that's a good thing for our balance sake. It is already a 4 shot swift, too much top speed would make it go back to be too broken. But yeah, that's about it for changes. I'm happy that we got something, but for the last update, it is pretty disappointing. Some of the stuff that still is in the game and hasn't been fixed is on the top of my head. The Mini Cooper S still has its 6 star boosts, which was wrongly fixed by Milestone should have 4 charges by the way. The downloadable decals still disappear after a week or so and when you try to select them, 
they crash the game. The series like myself have to deal with this annoying bug when switching between mouse and controller where the indicator keeps pushing back to the last cursor position. And the most important thing, the online is still a mess to deal with. Long queues, not being able to draw rooms mid-race, get disbanded when you have less than 4 players on the lobby. The fact is, since late January this game has been surviving thanks to its passionate community. Schedule public races on Discord, creating events, and as long as this community is alive, Unleash 2 will live, regardless of updates or not. Anyway, that's about it for me, I will see you guys online or on my next video, and thanks for watching, ciao ciao!